The heat is going to be oppressive for inland parts of the Bay Area, where an excessive heat warning is in effect for all inland parts of the Bay Area as we head through 11 o'clock Sunday evening. But we don't lose that marine influence. It's going to stay cool along the coast. There is some fog out there this morning. Same thing again tomorrow morning. And then we quickly back down to near normal temperatures next week. Other parts of the state, especially Southern California and inland in the San Joaquin Valley, they're going to be dealing with the heat nonstop for the next several days. But we back down to normal temperatures next week before we ramp it back up again a little bit by next weekend. But I think we'll be able to avoid the extreme heat. Now, today is another spare the air alert day. Yesterday was a spare the air alert day as well, but the air quality on Friday stayed in the good category for most of the Bay Area, even that ground level ozone. But with this kind of hot air mass, those urban pollution levels can climb quickly. So moderate to even unhealthy for sensitive groups. Air quality expected like most likely to reach that orange category inland in the East Bay and the Santa Clara Valley. Temperatures today are going to be mild in San Francisco, warm in Oakland around 80 degrees, but hot inland. 93 in San Jose and a robust 105 degrees in Concord. Let's fill in the whole map. We have a wide variety of temperatures in store, mid 60s along the coast, but then down the peninsula, 80s to around 90 degrees. In the Santa Clara Valley, a lot of low to mid 90s, but as you go farther into the Santa Clara Valley, up to around 103 degrees for Morgan Hill and Gilroy. The farther inland you go, the hotter it gets. Temperatures in the Tri Valley and the Delta topping out between 100 and 107 degrees. This is where that excessive heat warning means exactly that. The heat is going to be excessive this afternoon, but we should back off slightly tomorrow. Near 70 in the city, around 80 degrees for Oakland, but temperatures heat up quickly as you go inland in the North Bay, low to mid 90s for a lot of folks until you go much farther north, close to 100 in Windsor, over 100 in St. Helena, with temperatures in inland Mendocino County and Lake County reaching up to the 105 to 110 degree range. That is definitely hot, but even today, the hottest day that we're going to see in this particular stretch of weather, we're unlikely to set any records. The forecast high for Livermore is 105. The record today is 107, so we'll give it a run. Other parts of the Bay Area likely to stay below record territory. Here is the excessive heat warning. It's in effect for the entire Bay Area. What that means is that not just the heat sensitive could have some heat related complications, but really anyone, even the folks who ordinarily aren't that sensitive to the heat, may have some heat related issues. So it's something to keep an eye on. Make sure you're checking on any elderly neighbors or family members, especially if they don't have e easy access to air conditioning. Now, that's not going to be a problem around the Bay. Temperatures stay near 70 in San Francisco again tomorrow. Temperatures near 80 in Oakland, and then we back down to slightly below average levels by Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That means relief for inland parts of the Bay Area. First alert days today and tomorrow, and then we're back to normal or even below normal by Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then our temperatures ramp back up by the end of next week. Just make sure you're especially careful inland in the East Bay. Could head for the coast, where temperatures are going to stay in the 60s over the weekend.